And, and, and our argument against that isn't and shouldn't be to pick up our rocks. Because you're not and you never and you don't are a part of and you, that's not the goal. People will, pick, anytime we pick up rocks, I'm telling you, anytime we pick up our rocks and think that we're doing justice, you may not see it immediately, but there's going to be a trail of just more injustice behind you. There are people picking up rocks to fight for something. There are people picking up rocks to defend something. And then quite frankly, guys, there's evil in the world. Sometimes there's just people picking up rocks because they want to watch the world burn. We're not going to get anywhere. Okay? Martin Luther King Jr. said, hate does not drive out hate. Look at our political system. You're telling me we're not trusting in hate to drive out hate? You're telling me we're not trusting in man-made solutions to man-created problems and we think we're going to get justice on the other side of that? We're not. Not when we pick up our rocks. It's only when we put them down. It's only when we put them down that we can do what God called us to do, which is to act justly, to love mercy, and to walk in humility. See, again, guys, God created us with free will. He created us with the ability to choose him, and he created us with the ability to choose ourselves and our rocks and our own way of doing things. And right then in that moment, Jesus said, all right, you can stone her. You have the right in your mind to do so. You have the free will to do so. But the question created a choice. Everybody with me? The question created a choice and it gave the opportunity for empathy, to care, and to take a different action. Which is why the oldest, who knew more sin in their life than anybody else, put their stone down and walked away. We put down our stones. We get to do what's really just in God's eyes. Put down our stones. We get to understand how failed we are, how flawed we are, to be able to extend that mercy and grace to others. We were able to point people, humbly point people to the absolute hope that is in Jesus. That's the only solution. 